March marks a turning point in the Earth's celestial dance. This month, we approach the first equinox of the calendar year, and the seasons officially change after the equinox passes. While this heralds the changing of light, more for the northern hemisphere, less for the southern, there are still fantastic opportunities to see what's up in the March night sky. Particularly, March is a great month for planet gazing and to try and spot deep space objects during a Messier marathon. One of the astronomy events in March do require a telescope or binoculars, where necessary, I've pointed that out so you can dust off your own equipment or upgrade if you need to. Any event which doesn't explicitly say you need equipment can be viewed with the unaided eye, so there's still plenty to enjoy even if you don't have or want to invest right now. March 2nd, Close Approach of Venus and Jupiter As you look at the sky, it's hard to deny the almost magnetic pull of the planets to our eyes. Bright Venus and Jupiter are two of the most eye-catching and entrancing objects to spot on a night of stargazing, and the pair kick off March with a delightfully close encounter. While the pair won't appear as close as Jupiter and Saturn did at the end of 2020, they will be close just 29.4 arc minutes apart. This means you can easily use a telescope or binoculars to get a great view of both at the same time. I'm hoping for clear skies this night as I loved seeing the great conjunction and would love to see two planets appear so closely together again. March 15th, peak of the Gamma Normid meteor shower. And now for something different. After that series of planetary viewing opportunities and the first chance to run the Messier Marathon in 2022, mid-March welcomes a different kind of astronomical experience, the peak of the Normid meteor shower on March 15th. This southern hemisphere meteor shower runs from February 25th through March 28th, but astronomers predict that the night of greatest activity will occur on the 15th. On this night, you can expect to see up to 6 meteors per hour. While the Gamma Normids aren't one of the major meteors showers in the year, viewers in the Southern Hemisphere can enjoy trying to spot meteors as they radiate from the constellation Norma. March 18th, The Messier Marathon The best night for the Messier Marathon each year typically happens at the new moon between March and early April, due to the Earth's planetary position in our annual orbit. In 2023, there are actually two opportunities, the weekends on either side of the new moon on the 21st. As March 21st is a Tuesday, the first, and better slash primary, opportunity to run, the Messier Marathon is the weekend of March 18th to 19th. On these nights, the waxing crescent moon will prevent as little interference as possible if you're not out on the new moon itself. March 20th, March Equinox the March equinox on March 20th is not a night sky event per se, but it's worth noting on your calendar because it marks the changing of seasons. In the Northern Hemisphere, winter will officially end and spring will begin, in the Southern Hemisphere, summer will end and autumn will begin. People have marked this date throughout history and continue to do so across the globe with all kinds of celebrations and events. From a celestial perspective, the March equinox marks the point on the Earth's annual orbit when everywhere on Earth has almost exactly 12 hours of day and night. Equinox means equal night, so this makes perfect sense. The perfect balance between day and night occurs because of the distance and angles between the Sun and the Earth at its 23.5 degrees tilt. March 21st Full Moon March's full moon is commonly called the full worm moon. This is because of the earthworms that wriggle out of the ground as the earth begins to thaw in March. Here's a little known fact about March's full moon, it was called the worm moon only by southern Native American tribes. In fact, there's no way the northern tribes would have ever called it the worm moon, and the reason why is fascinating. March 24th close approach slash lunar occultation of the Moon and Venus. If there's one unique theme to astronomical events in 2023, it's lunar occultations. 
After a series of lunar occultations of Uranus in 2022, the Moon begins passing in front of, called a lunar occultation, a number of other planets. In January and February this included Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus, and in March, Venus joins the mix. While most people in the world will only see a close visual approach between the two night sky objects, a sliver of crescent moon and bright Venus appearing just six arc minutes apart, to be more specific, those night sky viewers in sub-Saharan Africa, the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula, and South Asia will be able to see the moon obscure Venus entirely. March 28th, Close Approach of the Moon and Mars The March, or should I say March, of the close planetary approaches continues. As the month winds down, there's a series of conjunctions that will make spotting and identifying the planets easy. This is a great chance to introduce kids to the different planets, if you're willing to get up early to see them all in the morning sky. First up, Mars and the Moon appear in conjunction, just 2 degrees 17 minutes apart, on March 28th, the first quarter moon will make it easy to spot rust-colored Mars in the morning sky.